Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Elva with Elva. And today I am going to read for you part three. Part three of uh, Iselin and the Guardians. I scream, Zacharias, but I can no longer see him. Tears streaming down my cheeks. Fabian, we have to go back. We can't leave him there. I am in Fabian's arms and he holds me closer, resting my head against his shoulder while comfortingly running his hand through my hair. Shh, it's okay, he says. And another voice adds, Zacharias is strong. It takes more than this to hurt him. He will be back soon. Trust him. Blue eyes look at me through the rear view mirror. Eyes that reassure me that everything will be all right. Lucas, I whisper questioningly. Yes, he replies. It's me, Lucas. His eyes smile at me and I can't help but return his smile. His hair is dark blue and just like Fabian's, it cannot possibly be dyed. It is a part of him. I want to touch it, pull him closer, feel his lips against mine. Suddenly I find myself getting aroused again. Below me I sense Fabian hardening. And without realizing it, I have moved even closer to him, slowly shifting myself over him. I notice Fabian sighing with relief as he holds me tighter and gently places a kiss on my head. My cheeks begin to warm once more. I want all three of them. How is this even possible? It must be madness. They seem to be close friends, and here I am wanting to have all of them at the same time. How is that okay? In which world is that acceptable? I don't even think it's legal. I've heard of men living with multiple wives, and in the past it was common for kings to have a harem of women. But that doesn't belong to the norm anymore. And why would any of them want someone like me? Yet, underneath me, Fabian reminds me of his presence. It ignites something within me, and I am grateful that it is dark in the car, so they can't see how embarrassed and confused I feel right now. I catch Lucas's eyes in the rearview mirror. He watches me with amusement, as if he knows, as if he knows exactly what I am thinking. He turns his attention back to the road and says, We'll be there soon. I can no longer hear the screams I heard earlier and I don't know how long we've been driving. I don't know where we are. We are on a narrow road somewhere in the woods. Together with two men I've never met before. I should feel scared but I know everything is okay. I know I am safe and can trust them. Somehow even though I know we haven't met before it feels like I know them. It's strange. I don't have the time to think more about it. The car stops and Lucas jumps out, opening our door. He takes my hand and lifts it to his lips. Princess, he says, it's still not completely safe. Let me take you into the house, I nod. And Fabian lifts me over into Lucas's waiting arms. They lift me as if I weigh nothing at all. They look strong, but that cannot be possible. I'm not that small, and it shouldn't be possible for them to lift me this easily. Who are they? I wonder silently to myself. But in Lucas's arms, all thoughts seem to disappear. I run my fingers through his thick blue hair. It shimmers slightly when I touch it, and I can sense a rush go through him as he holds me tighter. We approach the house. It's a beautiful wooden house surrounded by a fairy tale garden. We step inside into a warm, inviting atmosphere. Lucas carries me into a living room and sets us down on a large sofa. Let me hold you a little longer, he whispers. It feels as if a deep sadness lingers between us and I can do nothing but wrap my arms around him and hold him tightly. I can feel him relaxing, as if all his worries are washing away, leaving just the two of us. The door opens and in comes Fabian, his long red hair wild as he kneels down in front of us. He lightly touches my cheek and places his other hand on Lucas's shoulder. 
smiling warmly at us. We are safe. The magical boundary is intact. Let me prepare some late snacks. I think we all need to eat something, he says, before quickly rushing out to the kitchen. Lucas gently moves his hand over my back and I rest my head against his shoulder. I can feel exhaustion beginning to wash over me. And that was it. That was part three of Iselin and the Guardians. So bye 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 my darlings.